Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today we're going to look at negative space logo design and how you can kind of practice to create your own. So negative space, of course, is the area around a shape or design that has no fill to it, but you can create interesting ideas and images and illustrations out of this. And it's particularly effective when conveying ideas and especially through the logo design. So I came up with a way to quickly basically gain practice and experience by designing uh, a negative space logo. So I'm going to use a site called randomlettergenerator.com and I'm going to pick two different random letters and then immediately after the letters picked I'm going to come up with the first noun that I think of that begins with that letter. And then I'll take that letter into Adobe Illustrator and try to use that letter to convey through negative space the noun that I chose randomly. All right, so I encourage you to follow along and maybe do your own. Um, there's no project files for this, so you don't have to worry about that. I'll be using Adobe Illustrator to do this. And as always, check out designcourse.com. If you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. Let's get started. All right, so randomlettergenerator.com, here I am. And to create our first letter, I can just uh, click this, and then I'll come up with the first noun that comes to mind using that letter. A, uh, apple. Oh, God, this is going to be stupid. All right, so let's go to file new. 860 by 600. Control 1 to get us to 100%. I'm going to do a, a capital and a lowercase a. Oh, shift. All right, so I kind of have immediate idea that could possibly work, I think. So the goal here, again, is to use the negative space to come up with both an apple while still maintaining the shape of an A. So I think right away I'm going to get rid of this capital right here. And that's my wife out there being loud. And so I'm just going to duplicate that control C and control F. And you can experiment with different fonts to give you different shapes and possibly different ideas. All right, so let's see here. These are some ridiculous fonts. Why don't I have these? All right. If I use this and just block this out real quick. All right, and zoom up. and try to quickly create an apple here. Don't they usually have this little butt looking thing here? Hold on, let me see, keep on going. We could fix this up. This is obviously a rough draft, all right. Create a stem, maybe. Well, I mean, I think that's the best I can come up with. <laughs> I'm right on the spot. I mean, we could take the, the negative space from the circle here and just make it into an apple. So that's one way that you could possibly approach. Let's try this again, though. Let's try this process another time. All right, so... I'm gonna move this down just a tad bit. All right, so not too bad for, you know, just being on the spot. I'm gonna try this again. G, garden. I'm making this hard on myself, let's see here. So, all right, G and G. All right, so I'm gonna keep this font here 
Control C and Control F, and maybe just use, try to come up with something else that might work. That's already kind of a cool idea, I think. I'll just leave this here for now. And keep going up. So, you know, when you think of a garden, you think of plants, obviously. What are we doing with this food concept here? Oh, well. Um, garden, garden. Using the negative space. Let's see here. I'm just going through these, hoping to spark an idea. I think I'm just going to end right there. Let's see. Let's take this. So the idea of a garden, let's see here. To help you come up with ideas, you can go to images.google and just type in garden. Okay, so nothing really helped me there. Um, let's see. See, it's worth trying to look outside of the letters and what type of shapes are created from that. So we have like this little look like a mountain type thing here. And so the challenge is, of course, coming up with something that is relevant using the letter form. You know what? I came up with another idea with this. Actually, let me think here. Maybe if I... Pen tool. Yeah, let's see. Come up over here. Hmm, come on, think, think. Put myself on the spot and look ridiculous here. No, I think that's good right there. that and of course this is just a rough draft so not, not everything's going to be exactly perfect now what I want to do is take a white Come out over here. Now, is this necessarily using the negative space? I'm not sure yet. I mean, the, the leaf right here in and of itself may not be. I'm going to keep on doing this, working with this, though. Actually, what I can do is take this copy that move this down get rid of these points real quick okay that way we can see the full leaf a little bit better and let's see what else can I do you know what can be construed here in the middle Hmm. Okay, so right here, I don't know why, it reminds me uh, possibly of like a, a seed, this leaf possibly coming out of it. So I'm going to go here and type in um, plant growing or something. Yeah, this is kind of what I was looking at, or thinking of, rather. 
Well, that's tiny. That's a basic idea, though. Let me see if I can possibly illustrate that into this leaf idea. Um, okay, so this is going to have to change a little bit. So what I'm going to do is come through here. All right, and then... Come through there. Come back like this, I think. And come back up here. Now, of course, this is just a rough draft, so you definitely want to play around with making this these lines smooth. And then take this over here. Now, I need to look at the reference image a little bit more just to kind of see what these things look like when they're coming out. The plant leaf. Kind of just comes out of the side of this. Yeah, so I think I could still illustrate that idea just kind of going into this blindly. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take, first let me take this, add an anchor point right here. All right, and oops. Okay, and then take the black here, and let's kind of just continue on this line or the stem. Maybe right around there. And for now, yeah, let's Go out like that. Up and around like that. Does that look like a seed? <laughs> I don't know. Let me see here. Let's make this bigger. Yeah, kind of. Garden. All right, so one thing I'll do is take this. Type out garden here. Okay, I had to pause. My family was being loud as always. Control, shift, and O. Uh, yeah, you know, we could enter just right here. Um, I see some possible improvements that can be made, but I think we get the idea. I can't help myself, though. I kind of want to slightly adjust this, possibly. Yeah, because usually when it comes to these um, seeds, take this and delete that. Actually, usually it, it could it'd probably look better if I wrapped it around like this. But, you know what, I'm gonna leave it like that. We get the point, I mean, so basically a negative space logo, it's basically using the space around, in and around the form of, it could be a letter or not, but in our case we're using letters, um, to, to create something that is relevant to the actual company or business or idea. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Uh, so basically, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow.